Hi everybody. Um, Henry and I are here to show um, some families and friends how to create bread grating at home. Um, so we have collected some materials. So let's see how we can do this. Let's see. So we found a grater. We found some toast, and moms and dads, I wanted to tell you that um, we at school toast the bread um, at 200 to 250 degrees and just set it in the oven um, and just leave it for 20 or 30 minutes until it's not squishy in the center anymore, until it feels like toast solidly through. Um, so I know that um, food and bread are kind of a hot commodity right now. Um, so other things you could grade are, any ideas? Mm, uh, you can you can grade um, crackers, carrots. Um, crackers, carrots. What else could we grade? Um, I have graded crayons before, um, cause you always have, uh, broken crayons, half crayons. Um, it does, however, probably ruin your grater, just a heads up, um, cause the wax doesn't really come off. Um, you can grate carrots, or sorry, cucumbers. You could grate, stop please, stop please. Um, um. Yeah, I think that's all that I can think of right now. Maybe I'll think of another thing later. Um, so what we have here is we have a grater. Um, I also have this kind of grater, but I would really suggest if you do that, that you have a small bowl for it to sit on. Um, and it might be a little tricky for your child to hold this grater over the bowl. Um, they could do it this way um, and then just make sure it goes right into the bowl. Don't lick that, please. Um, the cookie sheet is to contain crumbs. Uh, it kind of does help to keep the space defined and to keep the crumbs in one spot. We also have a paintbrush for cleaning up crumbs and we also have a spoon. Um, so we were going to... Um, we were going to put all the crumbs in a bowl and then we were going to sprinkle them out in our bird feeder um, to feed the birds. Okay? Okay. So one thing I do want to tell you about bread grating is that this grater right here, these are sharp. And so you do want to hold your fingers back and um, you do want to um, only go in one direction. No, you use this side. The, the side with the bigger holes works the best for um, grating. Um, and so you do want to hold your hands back at the back of um, the grater and um, go slowly. So this lesson is kind of geared toward three and a half to four year olds and up. Um, and just because of that safety issue. Um, so, Henry, you want to show us how you grate? So one hand at the top of the grater, um, and, buddy, you use this side, okay? Whoa. Thank you. Yeah? I need both. No, you're going to grate right onto the, the tray, and... Um, this kind of... This really it's not FaceTime, it's a video. They'll see us when they play it. So watch what you're doing and not watching the video. Let's see here. Watch what you're doing. 
and then not yourself. Watch what you do. See that little flat edge? That's what I that's why I graded it on. Some people don't know I I would suggest doing this lesson um, on a floor that is not a carpet. The crumbs do tend to travel, and if they go on the carpet, they're really hard to clean up. But friends at school are really used to sweeping the floor under their workspace when they're doing bread grading. Um, so they're used to doing it more on hard floors, and they are used to cleaning up and sweeping. I need to. Yeah. What? This broke. That well, I can grade it. My classroom has different bread than this. Everybody's gonna have different bread because they're at their houses. They're not at their classroom. What you're doing, please. You're getting pretty close to your fingers. I also do this. So for all the parents that are watching, um, we normally, the teachers would take a turn and show the child how to do this and what the expectations of cleanup are. Um, however, Henry is going to show all that. And um, so if your child watches this video, they will know the expectations. Or if mom or dad or grandparents are watching the video, then feel free to do the lesson with your child with what you have at home. Um, and then they will know the expectations that are um, upon them. This oh. is how we use it. Maybe let's just do a little bit more of the bread bump, and then we'll show the cleanup. Is that okay with you? Okay. You break it. You can if you want. No. No, 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 no. Would you like me to break a piece? Is that what you're asking me to do? We need to break it in two. Please. How's that? Let's do this piece, and we'll save this piece for another time. So it, Ooh. Put it in the bird feeder. Afterwards, we put it in the bird feeder. But that's what not. Not that in access. Our sunshine kids watching Rainbow Kids. Mm -hmm. Rainbow and Kids. Are every class. Not right now, but when we post the video up to the, the channel, the YouTube channel, then everybody will be watching. And you'll be teaching everybody in the three classes. That means you guys do a really good job. Oh, I'm a world too. I'll show you the cleanup. Gonna put it in this bowl. Uh, 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 uh. That's not how we do it. That's not how we do it. How do we do it? <laughs> Can I show you? Okay. 
So normally at school we have a bigger we have a bigger brush, but this is what we use the paintbrush for in this lesson. We use the paintbrush to create a pile I got this. of crumbs. Okay. And then once you have a pile of crumbs and you scoop with the spoon, right? Yep. Okay. Please use the spoon. Uh. Sometimes we need to scrape the thing there. blocking the video. Are they gonna watch it on channel or our phone? They're watching it. Are people watching it? Not right now. Do they know there's a video? No, they yeah. haven't. You might need to use the broom to make another big pile. I'm making another big pile since my spoon, the spoon can't reach. They have to make a loud sound. What happens when you do that? What's happening to the crumbs? Is it going in one pile or is it going all over the place? Going on my lap. Mm -hmm. So if you turn the spoon the other way, and then you're video. Can you talk and work at the same time? Yeah. This is how um I clean up um bread crumbs at home. Is it a fast job or does it take a while? <laughs> it takes a while um to do it. Well um I'm doing it slow, so it might take me a little while. You might know, even watching this to nighttime, or if you want to sleep, or the time that when, when you kids have to go to bed, or this might, this kind of takes a very long time. Well, not that much. Doesn't even take a lot, but kind of takes a, a minute. It's, it it make it takes a minute or two. It takes a minute of, or two. Why is there a red, red square? Because it means it's recording. Keep working. Is it? There's gonna be a, a white square. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingles all, jingle all the way. Oh, jingle bells, oh, jingle bells. Bells, oh, jingle bells.
bells, oh jingle bells, oh jingle bell, oh bells, oh jingle bells, oh jingle bells, oh jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. What oh what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Hey, what the that's what horses eat. So you don't have to talk for it. When you're talking, you're not concentrating. Can I show the, the breadcrumbs? Mm -hmm. Quite a few breadcrumbs. I got a, a lot of breadcrumbs. I'm, paint, I'm painting it into the spoon. I'm going to put these in the dirty dishes. Sorry. I'll put them in the dirty dishes so um, I'm going to wash them after we do um, clean up, um, sweep the after we brush. No, no, no. Jared, sleep. Were you trying to read her books? So at school we have specific brushes that go